My name is Ebenezer Amwako Entry, and you are so welcome to this YouTube channel. On this YouTube channel, you are going to get videos that will set you up in your work with God and also with your prayer life. On this channel, you upload videos consistently to make sure that believers are guided to pray and pray and pray. If you are new to this YouTube channel, make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube channel so that when we upload new videos, you can have access to them. And also, if you don't understand anything, kindly send us a message and we will get back to you. Also, make sure that this video you are about to watch, you will like the video, try and comment on it. And when you are blessed by the video, make sure that you share it to someone. Thank you. Then God said, I have already made them in my image and in my likeness. Something must be done so that I can bring them back to speaking like me. So what must be done? The word that is with me from the beginning must come forth as flesh and blood and dwell among men and pay the penalty of all the wrong speakings of men. And all the imaginations of men and all the evils of men then men can be renewed in spirit again so that they can speak like me according to my word and then the word became flesh and died and resurrected then in John chapter 20 verse number 22 and he said and when he has said this he breathed on Oh, he breathed on Genesis chapter 2. He breathed and man became. He resurrected. A new creation is coming. In my likeness and in my image again. And there also he breathed. And said to them, receive the Holy Ghost. This time, it's not just your speaking spirit. It is the speaking spirit of God. And they received the Holy Ghost. And he said, tarry here because the mandate is about to hit you. And after 40 days, they were in the upper room in one accord, in one place. And the Bible said that there came a rushing mighty wind. The breath is coming. There came a rushing mighty wind. It fell on them as cloven tongues of fire. And the Bible said they received utterance. How come the spirit came as fire and he didn't give them anything but speaking ability? They received utterance. When you understand this message, you begin to tell yourself, Thank God I'm saved. The spirit of old, which was dead, has been making us speak the wrong things. But this new spirit, after the breathing of Jesus, has come and he gives them utterance. And that, that spirit has a ministry of speaking. He says that he that is sent of God speaketh the words of God. For he has been given the spirit without measure. In other words, if you want to know anybody on assignment from God, this is the sign. Anyone that is sent of God, speak not their own words. They speak the word of God because they have been given the spirit. So the assignment of the Holy Spirit is to supply you with words, moment by moment. Words that are from God. This scripture, John the Baptist used to expose everyone that says he is called by God. If you are called by God, where is your word? If you are sent by God, where is your word? And this is also a sign of who is saying that the Holy Spirit is with him. The proof of the Holy Spirit in a person's life is the person's ability to speak words that are from God. It's the person's ability to wake up in the morning and to know the words to say. And those words are in line with the word God wants to declare for the day. I pray that may the Holy Spirit be activated in your life Amen. to supply you with words, daily words, words of living waters. On the other day, the disciples of Jesus were living. And Jesus turned in John chapter 6. He turned to Peter and said, Will you people also go? Then Peter looks at Jesus and said, 
to whom do we go to? For you have the words of eternal life. You have the words. It's your possession. And he said, for we believe that you are the son of God. You are the Christ. This is, look, look at it. This is, some people believe you because of miracles. But we believe you by the word you preach. That you have the words of eternal life. This is why we have no one else to go to. Thank God for everything he does. But you, you, why are you in this church? If it's not because of the word, you have missed it. John the Baptist said that he that is sent of God speaketh the word because the spirit is given to him without measure. So the spirit supplies the words. Then Jesus makes it more deeper. He says that for the flesh profited nothing. He said, you have been following me, but I want to tell you, my flesh profited nothing. But these words I speak to you, they are spirit and they are life. That means that to Jesus, words are not just something the Holy Spirit supplies. Words is the Holy Spirit himself. These words I speak, they are spirit. And you look at this, these things about the Holy Spirit and you realize that if a believer misses this opportunity, then you don't look like God. You can never exercise the, the dominion mandate that the Lord gave. It is your ability to speak. And not just to speak anything, but to speak the words that God also speaks. Jesus said, the father loves the son. For whatsoever he doeth, he loves the son. Therefore, he makes the son see whatsoever he doeth. And Jesus said, and the son also do likewise. So Jesus didn't come to just preach whatever he wanted. It is whatsoever he had. Isaiah chapter 50 verse 4 talks about it. He said, early in the morning, he opened my ears and he filled them with wisdom. And he said, he has given me the tongue of a learned. So he didn't just come to preach parables. They were words he heard early in the morning. No wonder the Bible will say early in the morning, Jesus will rise up and go and pray. A great while before day, he will go and pray. He knew what he was getting. He was getting worse every morning. Ah, may you receive the same grace. The Bible says that a man that offended not in words, the same is a perfect man. A man, and he said that such a man is able to put his body in order. The man who has learned how to speak the right words. And that is the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Do you know that when Jesus was describing the ministry of the Holy Spirit, he said that he is the spirit of truth and he will guide you into all truth. That is worse. He will teach you what to say. When God spoke, the Bible said he saw that it was good. But you see, at a point in time, Instead of man speaking God's words, man began to speak by their own understanding. After man ate the fruit, man began to operate by his own understanding. Because the spirit inside the man has been corrupted. So men began to speak unto death. Men began to speak unto destruction. Men began to speak unto condemnation men began to speak unto strives. Then the word of God that man has missed, I made you a speaking spirit so that you will share with me in speaking forth the word that has been with me from the beginning. But when the wisdom of men were corrupted, do you know why Adam named everything and the Bible said that that was the name thereof? That means that Adam could tap into the manifold wisdom of God to know because there is no way God will make a creation and not know the name. 
so as adam was naming them he was not speaking differently from what god is thinking but when his spirit was corrupted this time in genesis chapter 6 the bible says and the imaginations of men were evil and we all know that as a man thinketh, so is he so man began to speak for the evil imaginations then god said i have already made them in my image and in my likeness something must be done so that i can bring them back to speaking like me so what must be done the word that is with me from the beginning must come forth as flesh and blood and dwell among men and pay the penalty of all the wrong speakings of men and all the imaginations of men and all the evils of men then men can be renewed in spirit again so that they can speak like me according to my word and then the word became flesh and died and resurrected then in john chapter 20 verse number 22 and he said and when he has said this he breathed on oh he breathed on genesis chapter 2 he breathed and man became he resurrected a new creation is coming in my likeness and in my image again and there also he breathed and said to them receive the holy ghost this time it's not just your speaking spirit it is the speaking spirit of god and they received the holy ghost and he said tarry here because the mandate is about to hit you and after 40 days they were in the upper room in one accord in one place and the bible said that there came a rushing mighty wind the, the breath is coming there came a rushing mighty wind it fell on them as clothing tons of fire and the bible said they received all trance how come the spirit came as fire and he didn't give them anything but speaking ability they received all trance when you understand this message you begin to tell yourself thank god i'm saved the spirit of old which was dead has been making us speak the wrong things but this new spirit after the breathing of jesus has come and he gives them utterance and that's that spirit has a ministry of speaking he says that he that is sent of god speak the words of god for he has been given the spirit without measure in other words if you want to know anybody on assignment from god this is the sign anyone that is sent of god speak not their own words they speak the word of god because they have been given the spirit so the assignment of the holy spirit is to supply you with words moment by moment words that are from god this scripture john the baptist used to expose everyone that says he is called by god if you are called by god where is your word if you are sent by god where is your word and this is also a sign of who is saying that the holy spirit is with him the proof of the holy spirit in a person's life is the person's ability to speak words that are from god is the person's ability to wake up in the morning and to know the words to say and those words are in line with the word god wants to declare for the day i pray that may the holy spirit be activated in your life Amen. to supply you with words daily words words of living waters on the other day the disciples of jesus were living and jesus turned in john chapter 6 he turned to peter and said will you people also go then peter looks at jesus and said to whom do we go to for you have the words of eternal life you have the words it's your possession 
and he said for we believe that you are the son of god you are the christ this is look look at it this is some people believe you because of miracles but we believe you by the word you preach that you have the words of eternal life this is why we have no one else to go to thank god for everything he does but you you why are you in this church if it's not because of the word you have missed it john the baptist said that he that is sent of god speak the word because the spirit is given to him without measure so the spirit supplies the words then jesus makes it more deeper he says that for the flesh profited nothing he said you have been following me but i want to tell you my flesh profited nothing but these words i speak to you they are spirit and they are life that means that to jesus words are not just something the holy spirit supplies words is the holy spirit himself these words i speak they are spirit and you look at this these things about the holy spirit and you realize that if a believer misses this opportunity then you don't look like god you can never exercise the the dominion mandate that the lord gave it is your ability to speak and not just to speak anything but to speak the words that god also speaks Jesus said, the father loves the son. For whatsoever he doeth, he loves the son. Therefore, he makes the son see whatsoever he doeth. And Jesus said, and the son also do likewise. So Jesus didn't come to just preach whatever he wanted. It is whatsoever he had. Isaiah chapter 50 verse 4 talks about it. He said, early in the morning, he opened my ears and he filled them with wisdom. And he said, he has given me the tongue of a learned. So he didn't just come to preach parables. They were words he heard early in the morning. No wonder the Bible will say early in the morning, Jesus will rise up and go and pray. A great while before day, he will go and pray. He knew what he was getting. He was getting worse every morning. Ah, may you receive the same grace. The Bible says that a man that offended not in words, the same is a perfect man. A man, and he said that such a man is able to put his body in order. The man who has learned how to speak the right words. And that is the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Do you know that when Jesus was describing the ministry of the Holy Spirit, he said that he is the spirit of truth and he will guide you into all truth. That is worse. He will teach you what to say. You are as powerful as the things you say. The only time silence is powerful is when you don't have the right words to say. If you don't have the right words to say, keep silent. But if you have the right words to say, don't keep silent because that is your dominion mandate. The only time the angel muted Zachariah and made him dumb was when Zachariah attempted to speak things that a priest shouldn't say. My wife is old. I'm also old. How can this be? And the angel said, I stand before the presence of God. If Mary will say this and go scot free, not to you. If unbelievers will speak anyhow, it is unforgivable for believers to also speak anyhow. You must understand the power of words. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I believe that you were blessed. If um, you were blessed by this video, make sure that you click on the share button and share it to a friend. And also make sure that you like the video so that YouTube can recommend this video to other people so that they can also be blessed by the message. If you have any question, please make sure that you contact us and we'll get back to you. And also, if you are watching this video and you don't know Jesus Christ as the Lord and personal Savior, I want you to make that decision. Just contact us in the description. Call us and let us lead you 
to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. And lastly, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on the, that notification bell icon. Turn it on so that when new videos are uploaded, you can be notified. Thank you so much and see you in our next video and prayer section. Bye.